Alright guys, I don't know if you saw my last my last video. Um, it was basically on how long, well it was a leg day video, but I also talked about how much longer I was going to be bulking for. And I'm just going to sum it up right now because I want to say something about it. I'm basically going to be bulking until October 1st, cutting the whole month of October, going back on the bulk, and then cutting again in February and um only one month cut in february but realistically to be honest i am excited i don't know if excited is the right word but hmm, let me think of a word i'll use the word eager i'm actually pretty eager for this cut because one big reason i want to see what my weight will be at after this past three month bulk that i did because that would just be proof in itself that I will, because I will be at the same leanness as I was last cut um, before this bulk, and I want to see if I'm heavier, and that means progress was made. I already know that progress has been made, but just proof on the scale, just to see the number, see me heavier at this cut than I was last cut is exactly what the whole point of this is. And also, I will get to restart my metabolism because my body right now is so used to being so full, always fully fed. So to give it a little break, that will re-jump it, basically restart it, and I will be able to get down food easier again when the bulk restarts. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the cut, honestly. I never thought that I would say that, but I am. So... I'm going to get right into this chest day. For chest, guys, I've my logic is always incline, prioritize incline, prioritize incline. That uh, it has not always been that. Sorry, but the last two years definitely has been prioritize incline. Like you know how I think? I think why change something if it has been working? Because sometimes I get thoughts in my head. Oh, maybe I should in incorporate more flat bench bench pressing and more flat bench um chest machines and um yeah but why change something if if it has been working now i do also believe that always doing the same workout every single chest day your body can get used to it in a sense so it's always good to change up the movements if you can that's why i i normally i won't really do um, say if I did barbell incline for one chest day and then my next chest day I do a barbell incline again, I definitely will not do it the chest day after that. I try to really switch it up every single week, like not every week, every chest day. So for example, chest day one, barbell incline, chest day two, Smith machine incline, chest day three, incline machine press and or back to barbell. I go back and forth with it. And I don't really do dumbbells because multiple different reasons. Um, one, because it's much easier to injure my shoulder because that free range of motion, you have to control both with one arm. So I just think like on a barbell is so much more efficient and you don't have to like kick them up. You could just start with the barbell or the Smith machine or even better than all machine pressing incline machine pressing i think is honestly at the top tier list for me realistically that is almost equivalent to barbell incline bench pressing a machine incline press because it's just one range of motion and you're really hitting your chest and you don't have to worry about the balance or anything i just want to say that's why you guys don't really see me doing um incline pressing with dumbbells because i feel like there's better movements that could be done than doing with dumbbells so yesterday, started with incline Smith machine, and um, I warmed up into the weight. I did a few push downs. I stayed at the push down cable for like five, six minutes. I did a little bit of chest flies for the warm up. Then I went right into my Smith machine, warmed up into the weight, and I actually started at um, a decently heavy weight. It depends always on the chest day, on that specific day, how heavy I want to go, how I'm feeling. So for the first set, I got six reps, and then I had my spotter get me to like eight, eight reps. And then after that, I actually kept the weight the same, and I was only able to get like four or five reps. And then I just did a drop set, and I burned it out there with the amount of volume. I think with the drop set, I ended up getting in total with the real set and the drop set in total like 14 reps because i do count those reps together at the end of the day 
That's why I try to leave no break in between, really, from doing the regular set to a drop set. If anything, like a 10 second break to um, readjust the machine and take off some of the weights so you can do the drop set. But really, 10 seconds is nothing. So I just count those reps as one set in my mind. And then for the third set, I went a little bit lighter. And I remember I was only able to get six reps with this because my chest was feeling pretty pumped now pretty sorry to get pretty fatigued and i just did another job set to just a plate and i burned it out right there called it at the three sets then i went into this incline machine this machine i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love this this like i prefer this honestly over like barbell right now and over smith machine because i don't know it just i'm able to raise the seat all the way up so that I could get a full stretch going down. I could get a better stretch on this than like barbell and Smith machine, of course, because your chest stops you. But with this one, there's nothing in the middle. So you're able to bring your hands all the way down and then get a full stretch up. And um, I don't know. I just really like this one. And also, I'm able to m maneuver the weight from balanced weight to higher weight and then there's a spot on the lower portion where you could put it and that hits your muscles in all different way and that's what i did yesterday so i started with balanced um i had to get a drop six i didn't get over eight reps i got seven almost eight like seven and a half so i had to do a drop set and because that is my in my books if i don't get eight reps or up on any movement i have to do a drop set no matter what and then I actually stayed there for another set. I think I lowered the weight a little bit for the second set on the balanced weight. Then I raised the weight all the way to the bottom. And guys, when the weight is... I'm going to leave that in the video. That was a giant, like, hornet or something. I'm not going to lie. It sounded like a truck by my ear. Oh, man. What I was saying was when the weight is all the way at the bottom you get the heaviest point is when you're fully extended so when you're down it starts to feel like nothing and then when you go back up you get that all the weight so i stayed there for one set and guys then i put the weight all the way at the top when you put the weight all the way at the top the heaviest point is at the bottom so i really like the weight at all the way at the top for these kind of movements because i like to control the eccentric it's very important like i said i'm able to hit my muscles in all different ways when i use these kind of machines so i'm a huge fan of this company it is all over this gym that i go to they only have machines from this company so when i'm doing this movement when the weight is all the way at the top i really try to go down really really slow even slower than any other movement and then i just explode up slow down and beautiful absolutely beautiful so after that called it that would be seven sets of pressing including the smith machine and that was it for pressing where i went to finish was some yeah. i'm gonna call it pec deck okay it's like chest flies pec deck i really like this machine because i like to keep my arms almost as straight as possible maybe a slight bend and really just focus on the squeeze at the top and also it is on an incline so i really did a full incline chest day yesterday and sometimes that is what i do so if you guys know me you know that i superset my chest flies my cable flies whatever i'm doing on that specific chest day with lateral raises shoulder flies okay and that's what i did and I ended up staying with this back and forth superset style for four sets. Normally, I like to do like two or three more sets of shoulder flies after my cable flies are done. But I just called it there. I felt pretty pumped in my shoulders. And on my next arm day, I would just do more volume of shoulders then. And guys, keep in mind, I have the exact same mentality when I'm doing flies, when I'm doing pec deck. If I don't get eight reps at least, it's a drop set no matter what. But normally, I don't go as heavy as I would for pressing where I'm not able to get eight reps. But once in a while, it does happen. So I always keep that mentality. Eight reps or up, that is just in my books. That is my hypertrophy range. And that is what has really helped me grow. And, and of course, going to failure for everything as well. That's um, what I'm absolutely big on. And then I just wanted to show you guys my chest pump. Still looking... Still looking good, looking 
relatively lean. I do notice I'm putting on slight body fat, but it does bother me, but it's the name of the game. It bothers me because I want to look like big, but aesthetic as possible still. And I do still see my my abs nowhere near as much as I could when I was cutting, but of course not. You know, I already knew that was going to happen. My main objective, my main goal was to just have them noticeable in every pump check. And they're still slightly more noticeable than faintly, at le that, so that's a good thing. But yeah, guys, that would call for this chest day. This chest day was a very good one. I will rate it at a 92 overall. And that will call it for this one. See you guys in the next one. Full back day.